Hi everybody, it's Nat at Black Cat Crafts. Um, today we are going to be making a card using one of the new sets from the new mini catalogue. Um, got some beautiful sets in here. Um, today we're going to be using the Christmas Banners Bundle. Um, so I mean, you know, if you buy the stamp set and the dies together, that's forty-seven fifty, and then you can get a free item from the celebration. Um, I've got some fabulous stamp sets and papers and dies. So I'll show you what we're going to be making. So this is my TP card. Now I've seen lots of different people on YouTube making this card and I'm hooked. Everyone's getting a TP card for Christmas. I think they're fab. Um, so this is how we're going to be making it. So first, you're going to be needing three pieces of card. I am using um, Evening Evergreen and they measure three and a half by three and a half. So you're going to be needing three of those. And then what we're going to be using is the scoreboard and we're going to be scoring right the way down the middle on all three pieces so we will line that up and we're scoring right down the middle on all three pieces we'll line that up Okay, get rid of that. So now we're going to burnish our score lines. I am getting organised for Christmas this year. I am going to get all my cards done. No excuses. So. That is how we're going to be gluing. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a pencil. So the first piece of card is like this. The second piece is at an angle and that is going to go underneath. So if we line those up and we do a little line just there. So we know not to glue this piece. We are just going to glue that triangle piece there. Oh, sorry. Okay. So glue up the middle. And then just across there, because that's where our line is. That's our guide. And then we're going to attach that. To the middle piece. This should line up on the other side as well. So we're just going to do that bit down. And then we're going to do the same with this piece. So this piece is going to fit under there. And then what I'm going to do is just do a little guide, just a little line there. So I know not to glue that piece. sure we're not overlapping on the back. We should have that effect when it's folded over. So basically we're going to fold these in and that's your teepee. <laughs> it's fab, isn't it? Okay. Right, we'll put that piece aside and then what you're going to need Right, it's two pieces of basic white and these measure three and a quarter by three and a quarter. So on one of the pieces, I'm going to do some stamping. 
So we are going to use this one here. do my own DSP so just randomly pop in your stamp on one of your basic white squares Okay, pop that over there. And then we're going to cut that in half. So, using your trimmer, I'm going to line up each point and I'm going to cut that in half. Okay, I'm also going to do the same with the blank piece. So line that up in your trimmer and cut that in half. We're going to pop those aside. And then you're also going to need one piece of basic white and this measures four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And we're going to do the same. Evening Evergreen, just some random stamps on that little piece. Okay, get that out of the way, and we're going to cut that in half as well. Line up your points. And we've cut that in half. Right, we're going to do some sticking now. So where I've popped these pieces underneath, we're going to turn that over because that is going to be your front. Okay, so we've got the point down the bottom. We're going to stick a plain piece here, a plain piece over here, and then we're going to use these pieces to sit on the front. And then these little pieces go down here on your little triangles at the bottom. So we're going to glue those down. down there Everything that I'm using, you can buy from me at my um, Stamping Up page, which is blackcatcrafts.stampingup.net. Um, everything that you need, you can buy there. Oh, dogs are on my bed. Just hope nobody walks past. <laughs> okay, so that is going to fold around like that. 
So what we need are some Velcro dots. Um, so I basically just bought a load. I do plan on doing a lot of TP cards. Like I said, everyone's going to get one for Christmas. So we're going to need two of those. So this piece is where you're going to be doing your sentiment and writing your little message if you want to put a sentiment on. So we're going to pop that on the back there. So we've got one stick in and there's the other one. Fold that over and we're going to push that down so that is now in the right spot. So when you open that it folds flat so you can pop it in your envelope. All right, right now of basic white we're going to do some stamping so I'm going to be using this stamp here and I'm popping on Merry Christmas and I am going to stamp that one oh, get my block That's better. Okay, I'm going to be using a soft succulent for this one. So ink that up nice. So I'm going to have one of those. And then we'll have Merry Christmas. I have also started on Halloween. Um, of course, I love Halloween. I'll have lots of treat boxes and bits and bobs for you. Because we get a lot of um, trick or treaters around our way. They're absolutely fabulous. They all look absolutely brilliant. Oh, oh goodness. Okay. I'm going to stamp Merry Christmas in Evening Evergreen. Like that. And then you're going to die cut that out. got one here somewhere there it is right gonna do the merry christmas again didn't pop that on all right there's the christmas and the merry there we are that's where you stamp in so your die cut that out, you've got a die that comes with that as well. And then what I've also done is you get these fabulous dies that you can just cut out. You haven't got a stamp with them and they cut out these fabulous leaves and these little berries. So I've used those. Soft succulent, evening evergreen, crumb cake, and I've done some poppy parade little berries. So as you can see, they're just they're just sitting underneath your little banner there. So I'm just going to pop some glue. Comes out. <laughs> no, there's some in here. 
No, I think that one's blocked. All right, let's try this one. There we go. Okay. So I'm just going to pop those just under the banner. There's that one. Lovely. See all the dogs start barking. We we'll have that one there. Okay. And we've got a little twig there. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue on. I'm use my silicone sheet there. Otherwise, I get glue everywhere. Just going to pop a little bit on there. We're going to stick our berries on. I do love this take your pick tool. It's fabulous. It's an off coming handy. Let's stick those on there. bit of glue on the end. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pop that one just under there. Okay. Right, dimensionals. Really running out of dimensionals, I've really got to do an order. So I'll pop some dimensionals on the back. Just down the middle. Just so we can pop that up. Now, when you fold that, what you really want to do is you want to try and get as much over to the left as possible because when you're popping that in an envelope you're going to need a bigger envelope if it's coming over this side so as you're holding that like that so you've got that pitch there that's why i've done it all to the left so you can pop it in your envelope otherwise you're going to need a bigger envelope so we're going to pop that around about there so then when you fold that flat, that's still quite square. You've only got this tiny little bit here, otherwise you're gonna get all your flowers, all your leaves over this side, and you're gonna need, like I said, a bigger envelope. Okay, and then what I've done is I've just popped on the 2021 to 2023 in color um, opal rounds. So I've just popped a couple of those so we've got your soft succulent. I'll pop a couple. Just on the banner. And then I'm going to do an evening evergreen. Just on the bottom there. Okay. I just, I did have an envelope. That's a C6 envelope one of our c6 packs there so look you can pop that in there that's fabulous brilliant well, i hope you like that um i will be back with some more christmas cards and i do plan to do on lots of halloween bits and bobs so um look out for those um please subscribe um i'm trying to get to the 200 mark um, I might do a little giveaway if I reach the 200 mark anytime soon. Um, please put a thumbs up and like my video. 
Um, and thank you all for watching. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.